We have to be snow. The Japanese word that uh, we are going to talk about today, in order to have um, that uh, heart, the balanced heart that we need to accept both ways the offer and uh, the ask. So, let's go to the topic now. <laughs> I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Thank you for being here. So today, um, I like to talk about uh, three letters, but um, I don't know why. But I, among the all uh, the classes of uh, types of words, I always got uh, interested and uh, curious about the uh, usage of uh, adverbs. I like nouns and verbs, but I always got more curious and more willing to uh, use uh, adverbs. When I was learning uh, English, I want to uh, use the adverbs <laughs> and I have to figure uh, out uh, why is that. Uh, maybe I'm not a very uh, active person for actions because uh, an, an action person would use more verbs, right? And uh, people who are more uh, contemplative, more uh, artistic maybe, they would use more nouns and or adjectives, more adjectives. And uh, I think that the people who are more um, like uh, engineering or accountant with a logical uh, profession or uh, inclination, they would like to use more nouns because they are uh, settled, they are solid and they don't change. And the adverbs, they just uh, show the way of to describe a word but uh, <laughs> you see <laughs> um, adverbs in other hand they have a movement um, it was something now it is different or the level of intensity or things like that and uh, I am drawn to it every time I don't know why anyway today I uh, selected the word uh, but to talk about um, the Japanese monk which I'm following he was talking about uh, yes and but and I like it very much. He said that uh, we, as a person, we could be make everything so much easier if we just say yes to opportunities that uh, come and uh, are being presented to us. But instead, most of us, <laughs> I know I am that way, we just say, oh, but, how about this, but, and uh, did you see this, but, this, or but, that. <laughs> and I remember uh, my mom telling a story about uh, my uh, middle brother. 
he was at the uh, uh, fundamental uh, school. He was a kid yet, under uh, uh, 10. And uh, uh, he has always been very intelligent, very smart, and always getting the A grade, A++ grade at school, at the college and every, everything else. And uh, so uh, he got, an, uh, instead of 100, he got 98. And then <laughs> my mom told me, huh, um, you should have done better. <laughs> For some of you, it might sound almost cruel, but um, my mom knew what she was doing. And he said, well, oh, but uh, the other guys, uh, they are doing... Uh, uh, I was the only one who got 98. I was the highest uh, score in, the, in my class. And she said, yeah, but you can do better. <laughs> and I see here that uh, you knew this uh, answer, the correct answer, but you just got distracted. <laughs> and uh, he said, yeah, I knew the answer and yeah, I got distracted and I was just uh, not paying attention. And that was her point. It was not the importance of getting a hundred. It was just uh, that uh, pointing out that he was not paying attention to that. And um, <laughs> in life... <laughs> Sometimes we pay too much attention to the sides instead of paying attention to the core of uh, what is being presented to us. So, for example, if um, life comes to us and presents a uh, good opportunity of, uh, uh, I don't know, for a job, for instance, and then uh, and then the person said, oh, yeah, that would be great. Oh, but it's 30 miles away from here. I, it will be a butt, a pain in the butt just to drive over there during the winter time. Da -da 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 -da. And then the person starts electing all sorts of excuses or reasons not to do that. So this is our uh, butt concentrated in things that um, they are not very important. The important thing is that do you want uh, a different uh, opportunity? Do you want to change uh, something? What is that? Because if you are not in the yes position, staying with the but position, nothing much you're going to change in your life. And... Um, And then you cannot complain. Oh, my life is the same. Nothing changes. Uh, I cannot, uh, uh, I, I am not being able to get a better job, a better position. Da -da -da, da -da -da, da -da -da, da -da. <laughs> we have to do our part, right? <laughs> and being focused on that, uh, the most important core of uh, the matter is um going to make the big difference so instead of going to the but let's go to the yes and um, in japanese uh there is a word um that i cannot uh, quite well um translate into english the word in japanese is sunao sunao means uh, I look at the Google and it says uh, uh, amendable or uh, submissive or obedient. But it is not like that. So now it's, it goes beyond that. It's like having a pure heart. When we see things with a pure heart, we can embrace the yes instead of a jumping to the infinite buts that we can create for ourselves to give us a reason not to do something. But when we embrace things with a pure heart, with 
being sunao. Then things start going to the yes, and that yes leads to more yeses. That leads to new opportunities and new yeses. So this is my uh, little uh, sharing with you today. And uh, <laughs> let's start our session now. <laughs> the end and uh, I would like to thank you all for all your uh, insights and loving uh, comments and the kindness uh, regarding my um, request of uh, helping me to uh, make my videos uh, better <laughs> I really appreciate all your love and um, but uh, anytime you uh, note anything that could be improved I would like to uh, ask you again to say so and share with me at any time about any topic or anything I would love to hear that and uh, I really appreciate that thank you again and uh, I hope you all have a beautiful the most magical day full of yeses <laughs> See you tomorrow. Bye now.